Miss Bryn here with another book review for you. This time I am looking at Where the Mountain Meets the Moon by Grace Lim. Uh, this is part of my Draconathon reading challenge and this one I'm using as the prompt for Deity. Uh, as you read this you will understand why. We follow a young girl called Min Lee as she tries to improve her family's fortune. So she leaves home and she sets off to go and talk to the old man the moon to find out how she can improve her family's fortune because her mum's miserable because they spend all day working and they don't have very much. Uh, along the way she meets a dragon called Dragon um, who's not quite all he seems. Um, I mean that in the most lovely positive way going and the story is full of stories within itself um, that tell you more about the history of the place that they're in and a lot more about the people that we meet as well. It's really clever how the two like, timelines are woven together through storytelling. It's really, really beautiful. This is a middle grade book, so this is totally suitable for eight and up. Um, it's not too complicated. There's nothing in here that would cause a massive problem for anybody. It is a beautiful, simple story about friendship and family and love. So it's really nice. The other gorgeous thing about this, it is it's illustrated and it's all illustrated in Asian style because that's the nationality of the author and she was inspired by all the stories that she heard when she was a little girl and she discovered that actually a lot more of those stories had gone in and all that so she wanted to mix those folklore stories that she knew as a child with a, her own story and I think she's done a beautiful job this is really clever how it mixes traditional folklore tales and becomes something different. There's a whole bit at the back where the author explains where her ideas came from and her visit to different places in Asia and how that's been influenced into the illustrations. So there's a little bit more history going on that you can discover, a little bit more of behind the scenes as it were, which is really interesting. Overall, this is just a really beautiful book, beautifully told uh, in a real surprisingly simple way but it's the story is not simple at all. There's a lot going on in here that you perhaps won't really be aware of until towards the end and I think it's one of those stories that would benefit from reading out loud to a child in particular. It certainly comes across as more of a, a bedtime story, the fact the chapters are really short, that the stories within the story are quite compact and they're told orally within the tale and I think that's how they're meant to be told when you read it. This is an oral storytelling book. I'd be interested to hear what it's like as an audiobook but I'm not very good with audiobooks so someone will have to let me know about that but certainly I think this is one to read out loud to children. I think it's just beautiful. As far as the dragon element goes, obviously because of Draconathon I um, particularly read this book because of the dragon element and yeah the dragon in this is very much a part of the story, he's one of the main characters, he's Min Lee's friend and he goes on his own journey as well which is really sweet and that so he definitely ticks the box for a dragon story rather than just a story featuring dragons, this is very much a dragon story as well and like I said I've put it down for the deity prompt but I'm not going to tell you why I've done that until you read the book and then you'll understand why I've done that. So overall I just thought this was a really beautiful gentle book and certainly something that if you just want to escape for five minutes, if you just want something really almost fairy tale in its style, this is probably an ideal book for that. It's just it's beautiful. It's a beautiful little book. It really is. And Grace Lynn has actually written two more set in a very similar style to this. So if you wanted more from her, you've got it as well. So yeah. Uh, so Where the Mountain Meets the Moon. Have you read it? No spoilers below, but what did you think? Let me know. Uh, in the description box down below, you will find the links to my social media. You can find me on Goodreads, Instagram and Twitter. Please come and say hi. You'll also find my book blog down there, which, you know, I will be doing more reviews of books I've read recently. So hopefully that'll be updated very soon. And you will find links to other booktubers that I think you should go and check out because the YouTube algorithm is rubbish. You see the same names all the time. So let's work towards changing it. As always, thank you very much for watching and happy reading. Be well.